Hello everyone, welcome to Redbest US channel. In this video, we look at the Spring 2021 regulatory agenda by Biden administration. So we look at aspects around H1B, F1, green card, H4, all of those areas that we focus on typically. And we also look at what has been withdrawn, uh, you know, from the spring agenda. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe for getting regular updates. So this is the actual, uh, you know, official federal website where you can see all these regulations that are published or the regulatory items. It's on reginfo.gov. Uh, this is where uh, the administration actually publishes all of these items. As you can see, the, there's a big list of items here, uh, but we're going to focus a very, very small subset of these uh, that are related to uh, DHS, uh, relevant to our, uh, you know, our audience. Yeah. Now, in terms of background for this, right, like, um, you know, for some of you who do not know what this is, uh, this is a, a regulatory agenda or unified agenda is nothing but a list of items that the federal government publishes, um, you know, twice a year, outlining their plans for the next few months. And this is a prioritized list um, in terms of what they plan to do. Uh, it, it's it's not like, you know, you think of an idea or you uh, think to change and you just do it right away, you know. They need to actually prioritize what things have to be done. So this is like a, a, a guidance for everybody, like the public, right, what's happening with the regulations. And in terms of the number of items, right, so there are a few thousand, right, if we can see on the screen, there are about 2,000 2,500 active regulatory items that are published in, in the agenda and about 623 that are long term and about 787 that are complete. So these numbers are, uh, you know, a summary of all of the agenda items across all the federal agencies, you know. Uh, so we are not going to look at all of them. We are focused only on DHS part, but there are many other federal agencies. So all of them combined are these numbers. So we'll probably look at a handful of them, you know, maybe less than five, you know, uh, but um, just to give you a perspective, this is all uh, that uh, that are part of it. And as you can see, they're actually significantly increased. And majority of them that you see in spring are actually uh, withdrawn items that are also part of this agenda because they cannot directly just remove them. They need to publish them. And again, as a withdrawal, uh, that's the way it works. Yeah. Now, let's look at uh, you know the key differences between the fall versus uh, now. So the, the fundamental difference is the number of items related to immigration uh, in focus of H1B and F, H4, F1, all of these have reduced significantly. And uh, in the past, they were very restrictive. But now, you know, they're not very restrictive in the sense, you know, they're pretty pretty much like normal immigration kind of things. Yeah, they're not like restrictive, adding more restrictions. Uh, in the past, for example, right, you know, they were they had items related to H4 AD removal, but uh, that's not listed as a priority now. Uh, also, many of these items that were listed in the, in the previous uh, fall, uh, you know, are withdrawn by Biden administration. So again, we we'll look at uh, the review, the withdrawal items at the end. Uh, but for now, we'll focus on uh, each of these items. Yeah. So first, uh, you know, the key priority is items uh, for Biden administration are modernizing h &B program and review the public charge uh, rule and adjustment of premium processing and USS fee schedule. So these are the summary of the items that we will cover in this video. And after this, we'll look at the, the withdrawn items. So the first one is um, modernizing the H-1B requirements and oversight. So if you look at the title of the rule, right, it's uh, modernizing the H-1B program and uh, providing flexibility for F-1 program. So what they want to accomplish with this is that they want to change the fundamental um, you know, aspects of H-1B program, not all of it, but some aspects like employer-employer relationship, you know, add more oversight and address the F-1, H-1B, F-1 um, cap gap and um, you know, give uh, guidance for amendments and uh, you know, work site changes. Yeah? And this one is, plan to be published um, in December of 2021. Uh, it's NPRM state. It's the first step uh, in the regulatory process, a uh, notice for proposed rulemaking. And after this, there'll be comment period. And uh, it's it's a long process, right? So um, uh, again, we'll put a link in the description where you can look at all the process involved, uh, typically the steps for regulation. But this is the first step for regulation, NPRM, they call it. Yeah. And now, if you look at the impact of this, right, this is something that's not new, right? I mean, there's been uh, many, many of these have been in the agenda for a very, very long time, but nothing has been done. Uh, Trump tried to do a few things uh, much more restrictive. They added like things like one year approvals, more site visits, changing the definition. So all of that were like, it was a big laundry list of items that Trump wanted to do, restricting the HNV program to a, to a greater extent. Uh, so this one is probably not going to do all of that, but uh, a slimmer version of that, right? But uh, more focused around uh, uh, abuse and, you know, how, how uh, this cannot be abused. I mean, the putting more restrictions uh, only to avoid fraud, I would say, you know, that's, that's the idea. Again, we don't have any details on uh, what, what these are going to be. So we'll only know as, as, as we progress, right, how, uh, what, what will this look like, right? 
Uh, so we'll keep you posted on how these things move, right? The second one is around the green card. So if you look at green card, right? Uh, green card has majority of the items, but uh, uh, in this one, they're primarily, there's only one item uh, for this year that is, uh, uh, you know, in inadmissibility on public charge grounds. So if you look at the public charge rule, right? Uh, you know, it was, it was a big contention point uh, during uh, Trump era and it went even to Supreme Court, right? So the, the agenda item, this one is more focused around uh, review the public charge rule. And this is an offshoot of uh, executive to order uh, 14012 which is nothing but restoring faith in legal immigration system right so this was something that biden signed uh, when he took office um, so this is based on that right and uh, they are they're going to do uh, ANPRM, which is even a, a, a step before that, like they want to get feedback on this. Um, this is going to happen in August. And after that, NPRM comes in. So this is even a pre-step. So this is this is like a, a big one, right? I mean, like Biden administration uh, put it as part of agenda as well, their uh, election agenda. In fact, uh, this is one of the most debated areas. This uh, can have a significant impact depending on how they shape it. Uh, it, it even went to Supreme Court last time. And, uh, you know, and eventually, right, the way this uh, came to an end was uh, after Biden took office, they did not really defend this in the court uh, and they let it expire you know like uh, they different and it basically vacated or removed that uh, public charge rule so this one is uh, a big one if uh, depending on how it shapes up uh, but again public charge is not new public charge rule so they want to actually tweak things like you know when somebody could be become a public charge especially if you are a, uh, an immigrant uh, or you know trying to become an immigrant coming from a poor country you don't have financial you know assets or all of these things that were very very restrictive in the past so they probably won't revise all of that or you know like um, that were added right but i mean this one anyways cancelled uh, i mean the uh, uh, they removed that uh, the trump era rule but they still want to revise the whole thing and look at what is the what is it in there today and uh, probably add in more uh, maybe protections we don't know so we'll have to just see how this how this will go we just uh, it's getting started i would say uh, the other one big item I would say is adjust, adjustment of premium processing. So the background for this is, uh, you know, uh, US Congress passed a stopgap spending bill. This was back in 2020 of September. And it had changes to premium processing, like increasing the fee to $2,500. And also added more provisions for premium processing, like H4, EAD, L2, EAD, and all of that, right? Uh, and again, this was not implemented by, uh, you know, like uh, USAS for, you know, in the last six months. They should have implemented a long time ago. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this item is actually focused on that. And they plan to do this September 2021 uh, so if you look at the overall idea right uh, there was there is no premium processing for H4 uh, anything that is like a change of status or extension of status applications which is COS or EOS applications right and now this takes extensive amount of time and because of this uh, you know unpredictable times uh, you know many people who actually lost many people like H4 holders who are in EAD lost jobs or L2 AD holders lost jobs so the whole idea is to uh, to you know like uh, to give premium processing for such applications so that people can do this but the uh, administration current admission do not want to do this because the moment they introduce this everybody who's stuck in the backlog will actually up upgrade and they will get their things moving so they don't want to really like um, do something uh, right away you know that's why they're trying to fix the fundamental problems like fix the delays uh, so many of these are actually um, you know like overdue right so the first one to fix the current backlogs and then after that they'll probably introduce this so that's why they're probably like um, taking a little more time uh, so we'll have to see how this progress but this will really help uh, a lot of people in the future uh, especially for the h4 l2 ad holders who, who lost jobs right who went to court there were a lot of litigation on these right so this is a big big item that we can expect uh, uh, from this uh, from the spring uh, agenda so the other item is on the fee, right? So USAS's fee uh, was supposed to change in October 2020. There, so there was a big uh, mammoth uh, regulation that was actually published uh, and it almost was about to you know, be implemented. Uh, and in the last minute, it was actually cancelled by court because of... Uh, uh, because of the changes that they were uh, trying to put together. So this is this is planned to be uh, expected into November 2021. And, uh, you know, if you look at uh, the overall idea, right, uh, the fee is revised now and then by USCIS as per standard procedures for inflation, all sorts of things, right, operations, cost and everything. But the fee changes that were proposed by uh, Trump administration was really, really high for many of these forms. And uh, it, it also added form fees for some of the petitions that never had fee or, you know, things like that, right? So they did not make sense. And eventually it went to court and... Uh, the court gave order to cancel it so this uh, this is going to like you know uh, so what what Biden administration is going to do is look at uh, what was proposed in the past and maybe revise them so that it is not going to have any any contention items uh, but overall it will increase the fee for many of the forms uh, but, but again we are yet to see the details so this one we will see uh, in the in the near term as well right so in the November time frame 
now there are many regulations that were removed uh, or withdrawn i would say uh, you know in terms of regulatory context right from this so some of these are very very big ones like you know uh, you know adding f1 uh, restricting the time for f1 students or extensions for them so usually when someone enters uh, you know us at a port of entry the uh, the const- the cbp officer puts in something called d/s duration of status so they can stay in the country as long as they want as long as they maintain status that is the current status uh, of uh, you know what they want to do is change that and uh, introduce a fixed period of time for f1 students so this was actually you know like heavily debated and it really you know i mean this didn't go far but uh, the whole idea was to restrict this and again this has been withdrawn now uh, again there was a practical retraining reform like changes to opt cpt uh, because there is a lot of fraud involved in the cpt programs and also to some extent in opt programs right uh, so they wanted to change these things uh, but again this was also like kind of removed uh, because uh, they want to reprioritize their items uh, and uh, again this is also withdrawn i would say um again they had unlawful uh, presence uh, rule that was a uh, review uh, three or 10 year bars uh, you know this was not revised for in a very long time they wanted to review this and see how they count unlawful presence so this was also one of these contention items that was actually uh, being progressed by trump trump era and this also now been withdrawn by biden administration so the another big one for uh, all the employment based uh, uh, immigrants or you know the removal wage 4ead role right so this was actually planned to be like uh, you know they wanted to remove wage 4ead uh, based on uh, a court uh, you know there was a litigation happening again still it's happening i would say uh, so this item was said to be uh, was actually planned to be removed but uh, once biden took office uh, they actually reviewed this and uh, as of january they actually ca- you know completed it and they said there is no need for this and they removed this item so uh, essentially this is not part of the agenda item list and it did not appear in the uh, om in the list of items as well so this is also gone now now overall if you look at the conclusion right uh, the lot of regulations uh, from trump era are uh, being withdrawn so that's a good chunk of them uh, no, i would say rather than the ones that are being introduced uh, there are the immediate focus is on very very few things uh, bad administration so they're focusing on um, other aspects around asylum you know all, all of those uh, immigrant challenges that they have at the border right so those are the items that i you know you see a lot of them and also the related to covid and all of that right but uh, there is little focus on uh, you know the kind of things that you would see uh, you know on uh, legal immigration uh, overall it is better in terms of immigration outlook are much better than trump uh, era's uh, thing um, so i would say this this is a good this is a good uh, you know uh, i would say good list uh, that's out there and uh, let's see what comes out uh, nothing on country caps nothing on all of them so there are some regulations around that uh, you know there are already uh, no no i wouldn't say regulations bills are in, in in the congress so those are all like some things that we would want to see but again all of them are basically um, not there yet uh, we'll see so we haven't covered uh, the long term agenda agenda items in this video because um, again that's a huge list uh, so those are long term priorities uh, maybe we will do another video on that at uh, some time in the future so this this is the overall outlook for them in the next few years so we'll cover that maybe another video but um, that is something we did not cover so some of those are items uh, that are actually good ones uh, that are uh, that are going to be planned so overall thank you for watching uh, again uh, do subscribe for getting regular updates uh, whenever um, there is a changes or uh, new news items thank you for watching again